Got a filter here from Nichols Logging. Had a few issues with water, possibly some sediment in his tank. We're gonna cut the filter open, see what we got inside. Filter media looks kind of dark. Not terribly dark, but there is. Show signs in the bottom of the filter. Some rust sediment. Don't see anything too much out of the ordinary other than some of that rust sediment in the bottom here. And that would be from rust on the bottom of the tank. Must be pulling rust out of the bottom, some rust out of the bottom of the tank. In the bottom of the bottom of the filter, there is a little bit of dirt, uh, but that is what the filter is supposed to be doing. Okay, we're back at Nichols Logging. A customer uh, called and said he had a couple of vehicles that he had some uh, water uh, issues. Um, had a light on the dash come on, showed water and fuel. So we came and uh, and dipped the tank. The tank uh, showed. Just a trace of water on the bottom of the tank and we uh, we uh, also changed the filter took the filter off put on a new filter um, we cut the filter we did find in the filter a um, little bit of trace of water in the bottom of the filter minimal amount of sediment so on back we put a absorbent sock in the tank i'm going to pull out that absorbent sock and see if uh, if we've collected the water on the bottom of the tank and I'm going to re-stick for water. I don't know if you can see on the picture the tank restick for water. It is showing a little bit of purple. It's green paste, turns purple with water. Um, about an eighth of an inch on the bottom of the stick. The absorbent sock didn't appear to be normally they would swell up um, with the presence of water. Um, it looks like it's just soaked with fuel. Um, so I'm going to put the sock back in the tank. And uh, we're going to be treating with this, this amount of water should not be a problem. Most tanks probably would have that amount anyway, um, just from condensation. Um, but we're going to be treating the, all of our tanks with dry tech in the next month, and that should take care of the problem. And we should be good. But we will stick again um, in the future, maybe after treating with dry tech for a while. May have found part of the problem as I was... Uh, Closing up the tank, I noticed that the emergency vent that was put in the tank um, was barely screwed into the tank and there was very little piped open. It was only about a half, a, not even a full thread into the tank. So it's possible that the water was coming in through the threads um, and that's where part of their water problem was coming. So I cleaned up the fitting and put fresh dope on it and I'm gonna tighten it into the tank as it should be.